morning to everyone. Uh, God bless us during this um, difficult COVID season. It gives me great pleasure and um, you know an honor to actually invite uh, Yim Cheng right to be our CBN speaker today. Actually, I was so uh, joyful. I mean, we said that the poll mentioned that we were joyful and happy, right? So I, I was really joyful and happy when Yim Cheng agreed, you know, to to be our speaker for for this session uh, uh, for 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 the May session this year. So Yim Cheng and I go back uh, many years. Won't say how many, right? But we are both um, kind of um, you know in the industry for for that many years, maybe twenty odd years. Uh, beyond that, right? I, I have been there longer, right? So I declare I'm older, right? Um, but um, Yim Cheng and I are also church mates. So we go to the Holy Spirit Church as well. And it's been, uh, you know, a, a really, uh, I think, inspiring, um, you know, uh, to hear, right? And, and to see how Yim Cheng uh, blossomed, you know, from career to career. So Yim Cheng is currently the Group Chief Digital Officer of Comfort Del Grove Corp, which is leading and she leads the digital transformation of one of the largest you know land transport company uh, in the world today right prior to her role in comfort del grow she was actually the global vp with a chinese green tech company called envision digital right leading the development of uh, AO, uh, iot and smart city products and solutions and before that she was the chief digital officer and cio or chief information officer at singapore's uh, Jurong Town uh, Corporation, the JTC. And she was also responsible for digital transformation of JTC and its estates and has a rich background of ICT and smart estates. Um, before that, right, um, and a large part of um, her career before JTC is where, when I knew Yim Cheng. She, she was uh, very um, uh, prominent in, in Microsoft, right, leading sales and marketing. And prior to that, 11 years all right, with a government ICT agency. And her career spans a whole range of roles from software, you know, she started as a coder, right? Uh, so she started in uh, software coding, went to R&D, AI, sales and marketing and digital transformation now across uh, Singapore and Asia Pacific uh, and, and markets. So she's also, um, uh, uh, you know, she also serves on the same um, committee as I do uh, in the Singapore Computer Society and is chair of uh, the mentoring uh, group. Uh, she also is deputy chair of Nian Polytechnic ICT Advisory Committee and, um, and also council member of the Chartered uh, Management Institute, as well as, uh, uh, which is quite important, a member of the industry expert panel for the Singapore International Mediation Center and also the past president of the IT Management Association, ITMA, which I was also associated with. So she was, um, Yim Ching was also recognized in the last year's 2020 inaugural Singapore Top 100 Women in Tech. So it gives me great pleasure, right, to introduce Yim Ching, right, for today's uh, CBN talk. Over to you, Yim Ching. Thank you. Thank you, Yoxin, for a wow introduction. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you for the uh, opportunity to share today. Um, uh, my name is Yim Cheng. Uh, I am new to CBS and uh, I look forward to getting to know uh, you all better. Uh, I'll, I'll be very uh, frank to say that uh, uh, when you've seen uh, approach me to do a sharing, I was very, very hesitant. Um, I, I am an introvert by, uh, by birth, right? Um, even though I think uh, right now, I like to think that I'm a conditioned uh, extrovert. Uh, uh, two years of, uh, uh, I, I like quite training. Yeah. Uh, uh, as you've seen uh, just now, I, I've known her for many years. Uh, we were partners uh, and now I'm also part of a team uh, at SBS. Um, and, and we only knew we were both Catholics so we bumped into each other at the Holy Spirit Church. Uh, I think like quite a few years back, right, as you see. Um, uh, we have both been attending Holy Spirit Church for so many years. Uh, somehow all these years we didn't get the chance to, to meet at, at church. Um, I'm not a, a Catholic uh, from birth. Um, it's been, although it's been many years since I, I was baptized. So today I'd like to share uh, I'd like to introduce myself 
share a little bit about uh, my own background, family, uh, my career journey, uh, the ups and downs, you know, uh, and, and how I've got, got through uh, this journey. Um, uh, not, 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 not through my own credit, uh, but through a lot of praying, actually, I have to say. Uh, so, I start my background. I grew up in a big family. Uh, actually, by today's standards, uh, it is considered a huge family. Uh, I have eight siblings, uh, and I'm the youngest. Um, I have, I think, between the gap between the eldest and the youngest is about 13 years. Uh, interestingly, we, we are seven girls and one boy. Yeah, And uh, the boy is just uh, before me. So, uh, from from my parents, I have learned uh, perseverance. Yeah. So my father was a free thinker. My mother was a Taoist. Um, all my siblings grew up free thinkers. As you can imagine, uh, my family is huge. Um, uh, we grew up poor, uh, poor but happy. You know, uh, my father was the sole breadwinner and my mother was the stay home mom. Um, notwithstanding the eight children, uh, my father believed, firmly believed that uh, education was the only thing and uh, to him the most valuable thing that he could uh, bequeath to us. So for a man from his generation, um, he had a, a very liberated mind. He had no gender bias. Uh, yes, he did want a son, uh, but he gave the same education opportunities to his girls as he um, to his only son. That was quite unconventional in those days. Um, it, it really helped me to grow up with uh, no, no stereotyping in my mind at all, right? Um, I, I, I firmly believe that, uh, you know, uh, whatever a man can do, a woman can do. It, it, it just, it, we were just brought up that way. So I, I could study whatever I wanted, uh, uh, do whatever I wanted. Um, and the one thing that my, my father did uh, to emphasize in those days was uh, that we had to, to really continuously improve ourselves. Um, and that was something that stayed with me all these years. Now, when I, when I said that uh, uh, my father was a free thinker and my, my mother was a Taoist, uh, I also have two sisters who, who are Muslim. Um, uh, they converted to Islam uh, on marriage, uh, at marriage. Uh, I have one sister and a brother uh, who are Methodist. Uh, and one sister and I are Catholic. So my family is as diverse as it can get. Um, and we are a very tolerant uh, uh, family. So I myself learned about Christianity as a teenager. I was in an Anglican uh, secondary school. Uh, and I used to follow my friends to uh, uh, Protestant churches. Then I met my ex-boyfriend, uh, now my husband. Okay, uh, he, he, he is Catholic, right? Uh, and, 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 and that was my journey to become a, a Catholic. So. Uh, Took, took me a few years after knowing him. I'm, I have to say that I'm not as learned in the faith as I should be. Uh, uh, but, but I enjoy singing hymns in school, you know, when I was young. And I still enjoy singing when I attend Mass. Uh, of course, I wasn't a great singer, you know. Uh, I just lost the words. Uh, I find them so meaningful. And, and I, could, I could sing safely, you know, among the congregation uh, without, without being pitch perfect. Yeah. So, so it, in many ways, I still think that I'm a, a really a shy type of person. Uh, now, uh, I am I, all grown up and uh, I have two daughters of my own. Uh, and, and they are my greatest blessing. Um, my career journey, um, I, I have to say that I have an interesting uh, career journey. So, so one of the reasons why I do share this is, um, yes, I'm... I'm proud of my journey, uh, um, uh, but my, my other objective is to share with people that um, no matter what you study, 
um, we should we should try new things, try to do different things, um, and 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 we actually never know you know where where it ends up. Uh, but the key thing to to this was really to 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 talk about the fact that the uh, uh we all need to be resilient. Uh, even though today we say, hey, tech is probably the hottest industry, you know. Uh, but within tech, there there's so many different things, so many different roles. Uh, and 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 we need to be adaptable. We need to be agile, you know. Um, and especially now with COVID, uh, uh, I think resilient is the is the message. So I, I'm in the IT industry for many many years. Uh, I never studied IT. Uh, I I did I did study computer science. I wasn't in information systems. I studied electrical and electronic engineering. Uh. I, I remember my, my final year was actually in uh, power engineering or power electronics. Uh, I, was, I was doing a project that uh, measures the number of lightning strikes uh, in Singapore. Um, so why did I do electrical engineering? I, I will share with you that how my decision was this. When I was young, the options were, Oh, you know, we got to be a, a professional degree, right? So, so we study law, you know, it could be, you know, study law, architecture, you know, accountancy, engineering. Uh, the first two were easily eliminated. Uh, very much so because uh, I, I believe I was too introverted to be a lawyer. Um, and then I really have no artistic traits uh, to, to talk about. Uh, so, so I eliminated the first two very easily. And then it was between accountancy and engineering. Frankly, I pray a lot about it. I didn't really know what I want to do. I didn't have clarity of actually what it meant uh, to be in the accountancy or engineering either, you know. Um, so, well, you know where the, the Lord wanted me to be in. So the year I graduated from engineering, it was a recession. There were still a few uh, engineering offers uh, uh, as a fresh grad, you know. Um, you know, with uh, DSO, with MINDEF, you know, with uh, ST, you know, in those days. Uh, you know, at and I, do, I don't know if you all recall, at and was once in Singapore. Um, but I was uncertain. Um, again, I, I didn't know what I wanted, but I knew what I did not want. Okay. Um, so these were moments that, you know, uh, I, I really pray very hard. Which path should I take? Um, and I, I, and I guess I always, I always ask for maybe a sign uh, to, to point me in the right direction. The next day, I ran into a classmate. Uh, I, I haven't seen them for a long time, like uh, graduated. Not somebody I meet very often. And suddenly, we met along the overhead bridge one day, and he asked, have you heard of the National Computer Board? And this is, uh, uh, many of you are maybe too young to know, but this is the predecessor of the GAF tech currently. Yeah. And, and, and that was how my journey into IT started. Yeah. I started as a software developer. I was, I was in a, a corporate startup. Actually, that was even before the word startup was a word. Okay. Uh, and I, I was part of a team that built a product and we marketed in the US. Um, uh, then I went to AI. Also before AI was sexy. Yeah. Okay, it was not like now, you know, when you say AI, everybody go like, wow, it's so sexy. Right? Okay, no. I was doing AI when nobody knew what AI was. I didn't care for it. Uh, I, I, I was in a role of an evangelist. I had to, to go around uh, um, sharing with all these commercial businesses, uh, uh, Singapore commercial businesses, uh, to, to share with them what is AI, you know, um, uh, do POCs for them, proof of concept uh, for them, you know. Uh, as a consultant for them to understand their business processes. Uh, even as an instructor, you know, having to train uh, uh, the business uh, experts uh, on uh, what exactly is AI and, and how does AI help you, right? And uh, after that, you know, I, I went into uh, sort of sales. I was still in government then, uh, 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 but I was selling Singapore. So uh, many of you would know about EDB. Uh, how they sell to the manufacturers. Most people do not know that NCB actually sells to the IT industry. 
uh, people like the Oracle, IBM, you know, uh, Microsoft, uh, Autodesk, right? Uh, with, the, with the intent to get foreign direct investment into Singapore. Um, I started a, a local industry upgrade program whereby, you know, we wanted to tie uh, the local companies, right, with the global companies uh, and try to get our local companies ramp up in terms of technology capabilities as well as uh, uh, marketing uh, uh, extension, you know. Um, so, uh, my last project there was actually with, uh, 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 with uh, my, my National Computer Board was actually to get Microsoft to, 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 to bring the whole Eastern operation, which was then in Japan, uh, um, and bring it to Singapore, right? So Microsoft used to do a lot of this. Uh, you know, I don't know if you remember the old days, uh, there used to be the Microsoft boxes, uh, right? So, so then the, the, the boxes have to be printed, packaged, you know, booking orders, you know, printed the CDs, you know, I, I, I think uh, uh, people don't recall the CDs these days. Okay, the licensing, etc. So my last project in the National Computer Board then was uh, bringing them, uh, Microsoft, into um, the old office in Alexandra, uh, Alexandra Road. Okay, uh, that was when I left the government and I joined Microsoft. Um, I, have to, I, I, have to, I have to say that the... Uh, it wasn't an easy step, you know. I, I spent like you know my early years uh, in a government uh, environment, and and to pop up into a, a MNC, uh, I, I have to say that I had to do a lot of a lot of praying uh, that it was the right step, you know. We all want to be safe. Uh, we all want to be successful. Uh, but anyway, I I I took the step uh, as 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 uh, as directed. Uh, I I did many different roles in Microsoft, um, almost eight years, and uh, both covering Singapore and uh, the, the Asia Pacific, the greater China and Japan region uh, for 12 years. Uh, after that, I felt like I needed a change. I, I just wanted to do something different. Um, again, I didn't really know what was my next step. I just need, needed to do something different. Um, I I prayed for an answer. Uh, didn't know what was different. I just I just prayed that you know, um, God's will. I find something different. Okay, so I became the CIO for JTC. Right. I have to tell you that I have no prior experience at corporate IT. Um, this is a whole new S curve for me. Right. Uh, new job, new role, new business domain. Suddenly, I'm in uh, real estate, uh, industrial property. Um, was it easy to transit to become a CIO? Um, my answer is no. Uh, uh, it's a lot of hard work. Um, I think that most people, and actually including myself, would have stayed from such a change. Um, and, and, and I can tell you, I also thought about that it was not possible. And somebody actually told me, how is it possible that you go from sales and marketing to become a CIO? Um, but I say, and, and I keep this in my mind, right? Uh, to men, it's impossible, but you know, to God, all things are possible, right? We, we, we work hard, right? We work hard and we pray hard. I was a CIO and I was a CDO for JTC for eight years. Um, I've learned a lot. Um, uh, as a result of that, I also got the opportunity, you know, uh, to 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 serve the community in in a, in the form of uh, the IT Management Association. Um, and with that, I felt that uh, uh, I could I could make some difference to the IT community. Um, then I felt that uh, it was time for a change again. Um, and I was approached to to um, to join a Chinese startup. It's a green tech company. Uh, very exciting. I I I I felt that the the vision was right. Um, and and I prayed that it was a, another S curve for myself. Uh, it was you know it's a Chinese company. The culture is different. Um, uh, it is a startup. It is not a, an enterprise. You know. Um, 
I was no longer in my 20s. Uh, I have to speak Mandarin. <laughs> okay. Okay. I, that, that was my second language, you know. Uh, but I, I have to say, you know, I, I, I wasn't great at it. Uh, but uh, I learned, I learned, I learned. Um, it was the most exhilarating ride. Okay. Um, I, would, I would encourage anybody to try this. So to me, uh, change is good. Um, it made me uncomfortable uh, and I grew. Um, I like to think of that as uh, uh, character building, you know. Um, so now, as, uh, as the, 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 the group uh, Chief Digital Officer for Comfort Del Group, I think that I'm once again uh, blessed with a new S curve. Uh, it's a new challenge, it's a new business domain. Uh, it is in land transportation. Um, in times like this, commercial businesses are, of course, more challenging, right? Um, the business is big. It's not just in Singapore. It's also in uh, Australia, UK, and also in China, right? Uh, um, of course, when I joined, I thought, hey, you know, I, I get to see the different uh, uh, business in the different countries. Uh, but with COVID, you know, a lot of, a lot of things have changed. Um, but uh, the this S curve uh, is 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 a is a big is a big S curve. Uh. So I like to 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 also share the the, the message that you know uh, in taking on challenges, uh, uh, fear not, fear not. Um, you know, for I'm your God, I will strengthen you as a, and I will help you, right? I will uphold you in my righteous right hand. And I really I really believe that uh, that keeps me going right so a little a little bit about my own uh philosophies uh, with regard to my career journey i think that covid has been hard for many people and it's still hard um for people in tech like myself i i think we consider ourselves very fortunate uh because because covid has brought the the whole digitalization uh message uh, uh, really upfront with a lot of businesses, right? And the demand actually exceeds the supply for for tech skills. So, I I I encourage, you know, um, everyone to strive for or resilience, right? For me, the changes in my own journey have helped me, uh, to build up some resilience, right? Um, I think that I have become more adaptable. Because I had a chance to try new different things, uh, I felt that when opportunities um, knock on the door, uh, uh, I I could pray about it and I, I put up my hand and say, yeah, I I will take up that challenge, uh, and I, I I don't fear it. So so I hope to 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 be able to share that same message to many people is um, try to change ourselves uh, before change actually changes us, right? Um, actually, in all industries and, and in any roles, uh, I think change is the only constant. And because of COVID, uh, it, it's actually coming on a lot faster. I've always encouraged my, my, my team members uh, to change, you know, just rotate, you know, go do different things, do different roles, take on different tasks, right? Uh, don't worry. Right. Um, don't worry about failure. I, I think Singaporeans worry a lot about failure. Uh, don't worry about failure. Uh, it's, it's, it's really so much better to have tried, you know, and failed and, and then you've never tried and, and actually don't know what the outcome could have been. Yeah. And, and I do feel that every time we try and we fail, um, um, we grow, you know, we, we, we get better. Um, and, and I used to, I used to have to, you know, funny enough for tech people, right? I have to actually give my my team like targets to go go learn new things, you know, go learn new tech areas every year, you know, uh, whether it's related to what they do or totally unrelated, right? Because in the tech industry, uh, change comes at probably triple the time, uh, as fast, you know. Uh, and we have to learn new things, right? Uh, to prepare ourselves, and 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 be brave to to put up our hands. To do different things, do different roles, you know. Um, 
I feel that uh, my 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 job, my role, is not just to to do the right thing, uh, but to do the right thing right. Um, and, and and you know, it's a it's a it's a balancing act, really. Um, you know, we, we are caught between the you know, the corporate. You know, we are caught between our people, right? Um, it's it's a very fine balancing act, and I'll share that uh, a lot of time. Uh, I do pray that I'm doing the right thing, right? We all think that our managers must know what they're doing. Actually, sometimes you know, I have to say that uh, I do, I do, I do pray a lot to say, hmm, what is that direction to go? What is the step to take? Yeah. Um, I I like to end with this. I heard it on the the radio twice this week. Actually, um, uh, the best time to plant a tree was ten years ago. The next best time is now, right? Um, there are a lot of things that we hesitate to do. Uh, there's never a good time to do to do things, right? Um, and and frankly. When 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 you say uh, uh approach me to 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 do this, I I have never done this before myself, right? I've never done uh, this sharing before, so I say okay, um, the time is now. So 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 I say okay, I'll do it, right? Um, and I feel that uh, um, if we focus on the positive, and we remember that uh, it may seem impossible, um. But to God, all things are possible, right? So, um, this is the opportunity, you know, uh, and pray for God's uh, strength. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for giving me the time to share my journey. And if you have any questions, I'll, I'll be very happy to answer. Okay, Janice, over to you. Thank you so much, Im Cheng, for a very, very insightful sharing. I think we had one question from Trillian by the, uh, in the chat. Maybe we can take that question first. And then for the rest of us on the call, if uh, you have your like to just un maybe raise hand if you want to ask. If not, we can type it in the chat. Yeah, I think that the question from Trillian was actually, how do you hear God's answer? And if I may when you pray for direction, how you hear his answer. And if I may add to it, because as you were saying, as you were sharing, you shared a lot about uh, when you're in doubt, you pray. Actually, I have a silly question myself. Actually, how do you pray? <laughs> I was wondering about that too. Thank you. So, so the other day, I was just telling someone, I, I, I swim a lot. Right? Um, sometimes I feel that swimming is a, is a way of de-stressing. So what I'm, and, and, and I, when I go to the pool, I really swim, right? I mean, I, I just go up and down, up and down, up and down. You know, it's, it's, that, it's that kind of minus thing. But I, at one day, I realized that, hey, you know, I could, I could actually, you know, um, uh, pray the rosary, you know. Uh, I could, uh, you know, um, maybe ask my questions to God, you know, what's the, what's the right direction, you know. Now, uh, somebody actually asked me, how do I, uh, how, how do you hear God's answer? I think that um, there are many ways. Uh, it's not just one way. Uh, sometimes uh, I wake up with an answer. Uh, wow. I think and think and think. Uh, okay, so I'm a thinker type, right? So I, I like to think and, 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 and I think a lot, right? And, and sometimes, uh, because you think a lot, you know, you question a lot, um, you don't sleep, and you know, the answer never comes to you so naturally. Um, so sometimes when I sleep and I wake up, the answer comes to me. You know, I pray about it before I sleep, I wake up, it comes to me. And I go like, yeah, that's the way. Wow. I don't really mm. quest, I don't want to question too much because I think that the, uh, Okay, I don't want to generalize uh, this, but uh, as a woman, I feel that I think a lot. Okay, um, there's the pros, the cons, you know, and then the pros, the cons, and then and then the pros and the cons, and then and then you don't move on, right? So I I feel that okay, I prayed about it, and 
when the answer comes to me and it hits me, that is the answer. Right? And I go with it. I go with it. Uh, I think you have to trust. Right? Um, uh, and, and <laughs> you know, uh, uh, I, I can't tell you for a fact that they were all uh, uh, God's answer to me. Uh, uh, but I, I feel that, uh, yes, you know, I know that I have, um, I have uh, prayed about it and I, 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 I'm okay to go with it. You know, so, so that's why I say, uh, don't have so much fear, you know, you, you have to believe and, and you have to do your best to make things happen too, right? Mm. Yeah, so, so, so that's how I live my, my life. Thank you. And I think we have another question from Vivian. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the inspiring sharing. And she was wondering whether in moments of failures, how do you overcome challenge of discouragement to keep the, to keep the faith going? Oh, that, that, is a, that is a very hard uh, uh, question. I, I have many, um, I have experienced up and downs, you know, uh, in life, in my career, you know. Um, I think that um, the best thing that I have learned out of it is uh, the art of letting go. Yeah. Um, Life will always have its challenges, you know. It's ne they're never going to stop, right? Um, and 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 don't don't hold on to it. You know, we, we have to we 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 pray very hard for the direction, and then we also need to learn to let go. Um, one of the things is, do we feel that? There's something we did, it's, we do feel we blame somebody, you know. Um, yeah, I, I personally feel that it, it, I mean, I've learned that, that it, it doesn't have a situation in I, I, I feel that uh, when I let go, you know, um, and then I set my objective at a different, in a different direction, you know, uh, pray about that direction, pay for that direction, and, and just move on, right? Um, and that's how uh, um, I I go through I go through my challenges, right? Um, yeah, maybe to build on to this part on challenges, I think um, Adrian also had a question. He was wondering if you could share a bit about some of the difficult encounters you have had in the workplace, for example, office politics, or you know anything else that comes to mind and if uh, how prayer led you in a different approach in dealing with these situations so there are lots of situations unfortunately um, again uh, I shared just now it's about the, the balance it's, it's the hardest is the balance uh, what first of all is what is the right thing to do and how to get it done right um, I will show you that uh, When I first joined one particular uh, job, the, the environment for the team was not good. Um, the culture was not good. Um, the, the way in which they were working, in my opinion, was not firstly good for the organization, secondly good for the team or the people. But the people involved have been in the job for many, many, many years. Um, some close to retirement. Um, it is very hard, right? What do you do? What do you do in that situation? Um, I, I actually had to, had to think about it for a long time and pray about it for a long time. Um, and um, 
I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do. Uh, I, I had to, I had to move people out. Uh, it's, it was not an easy thing to do. Seriously, it was not an easy thing to do. Um, that was one of the hardest, hardest thing I had to do. The other hard thing that I had to do was the um, uh, retrenchment. Um, you know, we had gone through several cycles of this financial crisis, you know. Um, and you know, when you're with an MNC, there isn't really much uh, um, consideration about, uh, you know, people's lives, people's livelihood. Uh, um, and it's always about the, uh, well, you know, the business. It's good for the business. You have to do this, right? Huh? It's not easy. Yet. Um, when you have to retrench people that you work with, um, people you know with uh, families, young children, uh, it's really hard. It's really hard. I have to, I have to show you, it's really hard. Um, so I, I actually, you know, care about it. You know, what else can I do for them? I mean, there's certain things I can't do. It's not within my control, right? As a as a corporate uh, uh, employee, this is what I am uh, in a way hired to do, right? Um, so I think that things could be done in a more humane way, uh, in a more respectful way. Uh, so 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 yes, we have to do it, but we we just got to do it the right way and make sure that they are well, you know. Fight for their compensation, you know. Uh, fight for fight for other uh um you know benefits or privileges that they could have, you know. Uh, before we transit them, um, well, those were really 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 difficult uh things to do, frankly. Uh, as for office politics, frankly, uh, I I I I said it quite a few times, uh, and I. Honestly, believe that I'm actually an introvert. Uh, I try to stay away from office politics as much as I can. You know, um, I I just like to focus on on delivering, uh, uh, uh my work, what I need to do. Uh, my family. You know, uh, these are my priorities. Uh, I I I try to avoid uh, office politics. However, you know, sometimes like you say, right? Uh, just because you don't want it doesn't mean it doesn't count for you, right? Uh, so it does happen. It does happen. Uh, but I think we should just, you know, stay focused. Stay focused. You know, um, and not get distracted by too many, too many things. Uh, don't think it's healthy for us uh, at all. Yeah. Hmm. And I think there's uh there were a few questions earlier, but we go back to them. But I think there's one from Julia about. Um, how you lead and encourage your team in a godly way in addition to praying. I think that's quite interesting about the, like, you know, mentoring the next phase. Like, like, like I said just now, right? It, it's a very uh, fine balance. Uh, I would say that at the workplace, at most of my workplace at least, uh, the idea of uh, diversity uh, is, is is uh, very strong. Uh, why? Because we we have uh, people from all over the world, um, many religions. But the thing that I always uh, share with at least my own team is that uh, you know try to reflect on what you do. You know. Uh, and, and do the right things right uh, you know a lot of times we just we just do 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 you know we just think you know uh i have i have team members who 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 are um, um christians uh, the protestant uh uh hindus muslim you know and and you know my own family is a is a mixed uh, uh, a, a mixed, uh, a well diverse group of uh, of uh, races and uh, religions. 
Um, I think that uh, as long as we respect each other, you know, um, and we all know why we say what, what we say and do what we do. I think when you have mutual understanding, um, the workplace is actually very, 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 very healthy, you know, um, and, and I like it that way. Mm. And another question from uh, Jocelyn. She mentioned that you've transitioned yourself so successfully through very different roles, constantly like reinventing yourself. I think that's really amazing my, uh, too. So her question is how you convince uh, your bosses and yourself that despite a lack of direct experience in that area, you are the best person for the job. So this question was uh, asked to me uh, when I transit into um, from uh, Microsoft into the, 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 the CIO role, my hiring manager actually asked me, you have never been a CIO, right? Why, why would I hire you? <laughs> right? so, so I, I remember my answer then was, uh, you know, when, when I was uh, in uh, Microsoft, I did almost, I think, about eight, eight different roles in there. Um, and uh, I told him that uh, all these roles that I've done uh, in, in, in Microsoft, I've never done it before. Either, really. I mean, I've never done any of those. You, you may think that it's the same company, but, but when you do a job from... Um, uh, 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 selling to, to, to the developer community, um, starting up the public sector sales team in, in Singapore, um, and then after that, you know, taking on the commercial uh, um, segment in Singapore. I have never done it before either. So, so, so I, I, I told him, it's not about what you have done before, uh, it's about it's about the fact that you have tried many different things and and you have a successful uh, track record. I think that uh, I think that uh, it, it it kind of it kind of indicates that uh, that uh, you can do it. You know, <laughs> yeah, uh, you're not bothered by something that that's new or different. You know, you will learn and you will do. You will be able to succeed to be successful, right? Uh, uh, I am very thankful that, that, that my hiring manager bought that <laughs> so, so, so I, got, I got to be the CIO of uh, JDC yeah, and, 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 and I just wanted to say that he did not regret that decision <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I think yeah that's, that's really nice to hear there was also a, an earlier question from Andrew I think it's um, quite nicely um, put what drew you towards being a Catholic? So there, there were many, many, many. Uh, 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 so I, I said just now that I actually uh, started in an Anglican uh, school. Uh, um, um, and and I, 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 frankly, I was, I was inspired even in those days to Christianity already. Um, uh, but 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 uh, before I, I met my 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 boyfriend then, right? Uh, I actually visited uh, uh, many different churches, Protestant churches, never Catholic church, Protestant churches. Um, I tell you, you know, uh, uh, why not the other churches? Okay. But after I met my, my, my boyfriend at a point in time, um, I was still going to the Protestant churches with my friends, right? You know, uh, Somehow it didn't. It it did not. It did not. Uh, it did not. Uh, it did not strike me. So 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 you know. Just now I I, I said. Uh, how do you know it's 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 God's answer to you? I, I can tell you sometimes. You know, don't think too hard, right? Uh, don't think too hard, right? Uh, it didn't. It didn't strike me. I I will tell you, it didn't strike me. Um. In a, after I met my boyfriend. Um, it was a few years later. 
and uh, we decided that hey, you know, you know, we should plan about getting married, you know, uh, and and then and then uh, of course, then he said, oh, but uh, you need to be a Catholic, right? And then I go, ah, okay, so so that was when when to be very frank, that was when when it started, right? So I I went for my um uh baptism classes, you know. Uh, literally start from like the kids, you know, they go for catechism classes. You know, I start from there. I start from there. Um, uh, and then I joined him in uh, uh, church. So I stopped going to the uh, Protestant churches. Uh, I stopped joining my friends. Um, and I followed him. Um, uh, his, his, his whole family is... Uh, um, uh, 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 a very uh, a devout family, so so I see, I learn, you know, and I embrace. Yeah, I try not to think too much about it. <laughs> <laughs> For all the questions, thank you to everyone who has raised your queries. A very insightful. I think we've received many positive uh, feedback also. If there is, maybe if there's no um. I don't see any question on the chat. I, I, I would like to, I, I wonder like, if, I, if I may have the last question. How, how would you, actually, how would you want people to talk about you if, you know, or what, what do you want to be known as? You have had many different roles. Um, so I was just wondering if, if there's something that everywhere you go, you would like to be known like that. Uh, this is in Ching. I think that the, uh... For me, um, for for at least to the people who have worked with me, um, and and who know me, um, I like to to at least be remembered as somebody who has contributed a tiny bit uh, in in making their lives uh, uh, happier, better, more successful. Uh, um, simpler, um, uh, and and that's 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 what I would like uh, them to remember me uh, with. Um, I think that uh, frankly, when I was young, right, uh, we all strive for success. You know, we, we we work very hard. You know, we strive for the best job. You know, and uh, but 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 actually, you know, um, with time, I realized that. It is the value that that I bring to the people that that I know and I work with. I think that's the part that I, I cherish the most. Thank you. At the very least, when you agree to this talk, I think all eight of, of us on the, the chat were so glad because we, we were we, for, for a while we didn't know who. And I think when Yoksin suggested and you agreed, you definitely made us very happy. That day. <laughs> I, 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 I hope I did a decent job. <laughs> Oh, I think uh, one, one more question from Annie. Do you have any problems saying that you're a Catholic at your workplace? Um, most will say they are Christian and it's less stressful and generic. Uh, if so, is there, I think her question is, is, it, is there any challenges to evangelizing at work also? Uh, the two questions from both Annie and Christopher. So, so I have to say frankly that I have never encountered such issues. So I, I consider myself very fortunate, right? Uh, very blessed uh, that I don't have such issues. Uh, um, I, I'm not sure, you know, I mean, I, I don't go around telling everybody I'm Catholic, right? But, uh, but uh, uh, you know, I, 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 I wear this, 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 this uh, uh, miraculous medal. I, I share with somebody, uh, I wear this miraculous medal, right? uh, uh, literally all the time. Uh, 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 and most people can see it. Uh, so... Um, there are people who ask, you know, what is that? You know, so, so, so I'll explain, uh -huh. um, uh, But interestingly, uh, I, I shared with someone that uh, I was, I think I was on the train, uh, the train one day, and uh, and there was this lady who came right up to me, you know, and said, "Oh, <laughs> I saw your medal. Are you Catholic? You know?" Said, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and then she said, "Oh, so am I." And then okay, we had a, we had a conversation on the train. You know, I mean, those days when you could still have a conversation on the train. Yeah, so I, 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 I consider myself very uh, fortunate and blessed. I, 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 I can't say I 
encountered this, so I, I'm not sure I can answer your question. Um, um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure if I answered your question, but. Uh. No, I, I think at least on the evangelizing, you've given us some ideas uh, how we, you know, can subtly <laughs> let people know and maybe through the joy you bring also. Thank you. Thank you so much, Im Ching, for the Thank very you. insightful sharings. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. As you are aware, CBN is not a funded organization, so we depend on love offerings and donations to run programs such as these. Uh, we, are, we basically run our programs FOC, and, uh, and, and, and so hence, please uh, contribute to us, bank transfers, or you can open your banking app and scan this QR code. And we keep the QR code uh, on for the rest of the slides. Yeah, so we have a LinkedIn group for this uh, for this connect for the technology, media, and telecom industry. The intention is for people to network within this group to uh, do posts which are uh, relevant uh, and encourage each other uh, and communicate as well using the uh, LinkedIn communication channel. So do join us on this group, uh, and we can we can stay in touch uh, more closely. Yeah. Dear friends of CBN, thank you for tuning into Catholic Business Network's Connect series. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button. And if you are new to our channel, do follow us on all our social media platforms and click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to get a notification whenever we post a new video. Thank you and God bless.